right, guys. Uh, I'm back again, uh, working with this uh, with this thing over here. So on the last chapter, on the last episode, the brakes. Uh, I just told you that I wasn't able to do the brakes, and I think at this point the brakes. Even if I got those bolts, the the brakes gotta wait, cause I gotta work now. Focus my, uh, you know, on 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 the hacking the the inverter uh, for the motor. So. That's, uh, I will show you. I will show you that process now, and also I'm keeping this for for my reference, just in case you know, because I don't know how long I will have uh, this inverter out of the motor. So you know, so let's get into it, guys. Let me show you what I got right now. So I got the 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 motor uh, again out. I mean, last time you saw it in, it was out. I put it in. Everything, you know, all the bolts uh, were fine. Um, you know, but that's uh, that was covered in a previous video anyway. So uh, here is the inverter. This is the inverter uh, side. This is where the you know negative and, and positive goes from the battery. This is the coolant, one of the coolant ports. I don't know if it's the in or the out. This one is the other one, in or out. I don't know which one is. I gotta figure out that later. If someone of you knows, please put it on the comments. Also here, I got. Uh, Coolant going in inside the you know the the oil, the coolant uh, cooler coolant cooler uh, that sounds good. Anyways, it goes here. This in, in goes around and it goes out. So if you guys know that uh, circuit, just let me know. Put it in the comments, please. So this cable is very important, or this uh, multiconductor cable and connector is very important. Here is where the signals uh the start stop reverse forward neutral and um, the the accelerator or uh, pedal goes so i gotta i gotta see that uh, what 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 are those signals um and you know i gotta do undo all those bolts around and over here there are three bolts i gotta undo this to take this plastic out and then there are three bolts over there that will separate the connection between the motor and the and the inverter. So um, I might need to to lose the the rack and pinion to work on this, but there is two volts. It's not it's not big of a deal. So uh, I think that's it for now. So I will take that out and figure out what I gotta do to hack this, uh, I gotta do some research to hack this. guys uh there are 10 bolts around the perimeter they are eight eight millimeters the socket is eight millimeters uh you don't need to be careful like i was if when you're taking these bolts which is the ones that that hold the you know the copper the three copper lines <clears throat> the output from the inverter so you don't need to be that careful they were not uh you know I think they were like maybe 12 pounds. Uh, I can do that uh, hand type, but I will look for the for the torque specs for those bolts. This is the only connector that you gotta undo from the board. So, like I said, 10 bolts around, eight millimeters, and then these three guys that you access from from the front. Uh, you gotta undo these two these two eight millimeters to remove that cover from there. And then when you remove that, you don't need to be careful. If they fail, you, you can catch them later on the front. So those are 10 millimeter. So that's it for now. So here we go. Here we got the, the, you know, the thing better. This is what I gotta try to hack. I gotta do some research and stuff. And um, if any of you guys know something about this, that can help me out, I'll, I will appreciate that. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, this is an AC motor. 
So uh, this is basically a VFD a variable frequency drive. The only thing is that it only talks by uh, to the motor and the you know the other stuff via can a can bus. So I gotta figure that out. Okay, guys, uh, I got the the inverter from the front unit now. So I gotta use uh, Torx number number twenty to do the big bolts, big bolts compared to the other ones. The, the ones that you see over here that are like yellow, and they put some marker yellow. So those are 10 millimeters, but I gotta get this plate first and these, uh, these, from, these, these from over here. So this is uh, orcs, the one that are green, that are uh, painted green. Those are uh, Torx, Twenty. Got the bore out so I don't know if you can see over here uh, but there is a that's a current sensor over there there is another one over here I gotta get rid of those uh, and then uh, those probably will be destroyed uh, even if I will try to be careful but that will be really hard to put them back together but just in case I got uh, I got the part number for this uh, that I get on a forum so um, just in case I need to replace them so there we have it I got the original Tesla board out several days later